and most of these weakly designed filters and web application firewalls can be bypassed by the inbuilt access payload included inside the tool. Uh, you can see some of the examples. This is the weakly uh, implemented string, string replace filter or the entities filter, special care, etc. This is how it can be bypassed by the inbuilt payloads. And this is one thing interesting I have to show you. This is a payload, access payload. I am considering only access payload. Access Access payload comparison of different web vulnerability scanners, uh, including commercial and freely available tool, Acritics, Access Me, Selenium, etc. Et so we can see the payload comparison between these commercial and freely available tool. And I believe, I'm not sure about, it got the whole second largest access payloads. Uh, the first one is with IBM's AppScan, which is having 700 million payloads on access itself. Now going to the expedition framework. First thing is an access keylogger. It's having a keylogger feature implemented with a quick PHP server. Actually, uh, it's nothing. There's a JavaScript. It will generate a JavaScript. You are, all you have to do is that inject that JavaScript in a vulnerable application, and all the keystrokes in that page, uh, even the username or password or what for it, even a complete keystroke from that uh, that page. It doesn't need to be inside a uh, inside a field that is uh, inside an input box or something like that. So all the keystrokes. Are sent to the PHP server and uh, which you will get in your console with the tool. So that's a good POC thing. Then uh, it's an executable driver downloader. Actually, it is an implementation of Java driver. So the victim or the test mission needs a Java runtime environment to be installed and uh, it allows uh, a malicious attacker or a pen tester or a comment. So just specify the executable URL and you can, it will generate scripts that can be injected into the application. So that will uh, uh, initiate a driver download. Uh, this is basically implemented with a uh, Java applet, a malicious Java applet. This applet actually uh, execute or uh, access the command from it and creates uh, a file winconfig.bps, which is a visual basic script. And this script has the ability to download the uh, exe from the specified URL and to execute it, all done without the uh, knowledge and permission of the user or the test mission. Now, a rose shell, this is also a similar implementation of Java drive-by. Here, spec more specifically, we will be implementing a rose shell. All you have to do is that specify the reverse IP, that's your IP. Then uh, you can inject any of it and you can start a listener. And the same way you will get a reverse shell after a successful exploitation. And uh, another is the access payload encoder. So you know that basically uh, different types of web application filters and firewalls, etc. can be bypassed with uh, different uh, bypa uh, encoding techniques like base 64 so and so so it's supported in the tool so now how to test how to scan a website uh, it's in the pre preliminary stage so the scanning is uh, follows this approach suppose you have to uh, you have a term like uh, you have a suspected variable you have to test it then uh, follow this way you can specify the protocol in the URL field and the next field contains uh, all other fields other than the variable to test. I will be explaining more in the demo session. And uh, in the variable to test field, you can specify the variable you have to test. You can select between an inbuilt payload list as well as the custom payload list that is your own. And you can have an item. You can uh, have a test. So that's how it works. I don't like much in theories. I want it in practical. So this is the demo. So first we will be looking how to scan a website for XSS. This is the vulnerability I found in Lens Communication website one week ago, XSS. So I will be copying, is it visible? So I will be copying the URL and taking the tool and after specific protocol I am just uh, giving uh, all the parts other than the variable to test. Next we have the variable to text or the parameter that is service and you will give it in the variable to test field then you can, I will select the input access payload, uh, payloads and I will go for automated mode you have to specify, uh, you have to specify the time interval there I give you some 5 seconds and start a data you can see that after that data begun the payload count is increasing Actually, it is testing all the payload in its database against the uh, uh, website. You will get live uh, uh, response to it. So, it's testing all the payloads one by one.
So I have got an alert. So that means uh, site is vulnerable. This is how we will be detecting the uh, accesses. Then we will be going to the exploitation framework accesses key logo. So this is a uh, accesses vulnerability that injected team found in uh, Amazon. It's not by me, by Amazon. So I am just using that for the demo. I am taking the tool. Go for the access key logo part. I have to specify, specify my reverse IP. So because I am starting a server. So that's it. I have to specify the reverse IP there. And you can start the server by starting the key logger. So it will automatically generate the scripts that you can inject into it. Inject any of it. One interesting thing is that it is bypassing the Scrum's filter. So after the page is reloaded, here you can see the console. And now I am typing something in the website, in the search field. You can see that there in the console. It's not needed to be in the input field. Anywhere in the document you type, you will get it there. I type hacker, you got hacker there. So that's a keylogger implementation. I think that's a good POC. <coughs> then then uh, the access is drive and download. Implementation of that similarly. You have to specify your IP. This time I'm doing in a lab, some complications in the net. So I'm doing in the lab. That's my reverse IP. And you have to specify the URL of the executable, which you have to uh, get in the driveway. So it will generate injectable scripts. You can select any of them. And the victim is Windows 7 Ultimate Service Pack 1 fully patched. So after if, uh, after executing this, after uh, visiting the URL, uh, you will see that there will be an automatic pop up of a window and you can see I'm a URL. It's a brand application. It's an executable. The client doesn't or the uh, tested machine doesn't download anything nor execute anything. Everything happens automatically. That's Java Drive by. And the similar method we will be using to implement an XSS reverse shell for showing the perfectness of the attack. Similar way I am uh, describing my reverse IP and specifying the port for which the TCP connection should be there and I'm starting the attack. Sorry, starting the server. Inject, uh, first I have to start the listener. Then injecting any of the script. Same thing. So after the script is executed, there is a disadvantage to this. Will be a, there is a USC popping up like this. So if you accept, if the victim accepts ES, then obviously you will get a shell. See here, you will get a shell there. That's a reverse connection with an excesses. So making the severeness of the threat. So that's about in the demo. These are some of the victims I got with the tool, including PayPal, EA Sports, Manorama Online, BBC, Reliance Communication, etc. So some of the features I would like to implement for the next build. Uh, support for Geekko and WebKit engines because uh, XSS shows slightly different behavior in different browser engines. So I have to include that in it. Then support for XSS in post parameters. I, I want to make it a completely XSS detection framework. So for that, then testing headers for XSS detection, automatic detection of vulnerable parameters, then detecting DOM with the third types of the third kind of XSS, then XSS proxy implementation, then DDoS attacks and an ID cookie theft. These are things I have to, I would like to add for the next build. I'm working on that. And I'm concluding. So, I think the access in a popular website is a high security threat. 
So the tool can be used by security analysts for access hunting as well as uh, for creating proof of concept with the exploitation framework. Interesting thing is, it's completely free. You don't have to pay like commercial scanners. And there are programs, programs like the Google uh, Vulnerability Reward Program, Facebook Bounty Program, etc. Go for access hunting hunting and grab your body. Thank you. Any questions? something to tell or something to discuss, you can contact me so through this. I'm available through all the social networking sites. You can uh, contact me through mail or whatever. So I'm one uh, thing I have to tell is that currently the tool is supported by OWASP and uh, you can follow this uh, link to download it or uh, just Google for OWASP X Synotics. You'll get it. So that's it. So no more questions. Thank you.